Hey guys, it's Eric and Tiana. Welcome to another edition of Table It. Now we're gonna do something really delicious today, but uh, actually one of our viewers, Dave, suggested that we do burgers, and we are gonna to get to that day we're coming into summer, it's happening, but we're going to do your next best thing, because I know you so well, tacos. Okay, so uh, I, you know what, I, I don't know if you'll believe this or not, but Eric and I have day jobs. We actually work uh, outside of this. So this is actually a crock pot recipe that is perfect for, say, Tuesday night, uh, after you come home from work. So tonight we are making chili lime tacos in the crock pot. Well, let's get started. So this morning before I went to work, I started the crock pot and it's so easy. I took a tablespoon. Turned it on. Easy. <laughs> easy. I took a tablespoon of lime juice, a tablespoon of chili powder, just straight chili powder, made a paste, rubbed it, uh, it all over the chicken breast and put it in the slow cooker for uh, six hours. So when I came home, we've got everything ready and now we're just going to shred up the chicken breasts. And uh, they like, they're, they're just falling apart. They're so tender. So. Get chicken breast out, I'm going to put the lid down. And if you've ever made any kind of pulled meat, like pulled uh, pork or anything like that, it's the same thing. So you just take your forks and because it's been cooking in its own juices, in the lime juice, it just falls apart. So we're going to shred everything and put it back into the, the uh, slow cooker or your crock pot and uh, do the next step. So once we've shredded all the chicken and put it back into the same crock pot, we're gonna add two more ingredients. We've got frozen corn, we're gonna add a full cup. Of course, all of the ingredients and the measurements and instructions are down below in the description box. We're also going to add a cup of salsa. And this is really where you can customize it. Um, the nice thing is, if you're entertaining, we've made this at the cottage before, uh, you can use three chicken breasts, you can add, if you're doing it for yourself, you can just add one, you can add six. Uh, and again, spice, you can add something really, really hot, something really mild, salsa you've made yourself, something out of the jar. Uh, it's pretty, pretty easy to customize. So um, we've got lots of these spices here on the side of the... It smells great in here, by the way. Oh, it's... It, honestly, this one's so... This is something you want to come home to. Absolutely. The whole house smells like roasted chicken, and it takes less than five minutes to start in the morning. And then when you come home, you just toss a few more things in, and then you can go about making lunches for the next day or whatever you have to do. So you just toss the salsa and the corn together and we're going to plug this in and let it cook. Um, you can let it cook for up to an hour, but really you just need it to heat through and that way, um, you know, the corn will get back up to temperature and then you can serve it in a taco shell, hard or soft taco shells with whatever toppings you like and you're good to go. So let's uh, let this sit for a little bit and then I guess it's time to table it. Absolutely. Are we live? Yeah. <clears throat> okay. Three, two, one. Hang on. Is that blurry or is that my eyes going blurry? I don't know. My, I, my prescription is so old, everything's blurry. I think it looks fine. Okay. Try Okay. <clears throat> We're just getting old. Continue. 